this is Cole with Tough Cookie and today we're doing a DIY on toddler clothing. It's a peplum top with the leggings to match. Um, so please like, subscribe, follow, and um, check this out. So jumping right into the tutorial, here I am checking the stretch of the fabric. You want to make sure that width-wise the fabric is the stretchiest. Um, <laughs> And so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it on fold and then I'm going to get a pair of leggings and place that on the fold. Um, so you want to take your time with this. Um, look for where the seam is. That's the part that's going to go on the out. And on the outer part of the leg, it has no seam. So that would be your fold. So you want to just make sure you're lining that up very well. Um, and give yourself some seam allowance. Remember, you can always take in, but you can't um, make it wider once you cut and sew. So I'm leaving an inch at the bottom for hemming, and I'm leaving an inch at the top for elastic. Also, just a note, um, depending on how your little one is growing in and out of their clothes, it, this is a perfect time to make them a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, depending on how they are fitting in their uh, made clothes, ready-made clothes or store-bought clothes that you're using as a copy. And you want to do this twice and here you see that I have two of the pieces cut out and um, placed on top of each other. Now what I'm doing is folding the leggings on the inside so the front is facing outward and I'm just going to tailor it a little bit more um, so this will be the front seam and then I will have um, the back seam to be a little bit different. That way it'll kind of fit a little bit better on your toddler. So here I'm folding the right side together just to get ready to prep to sew the leggings. And um, I will point as soon as I fold this other side right side together just to show you to sew from the crotch on down to the bottom of the legging and here I am folding the fabric again to prepare to cut out the top um, so you want to cut the fabric on fold so you can have a front and back. And I'm just using a t-shirt that she already has. Um, the only difference is if I had to do this again, I would do a t-shirt that already has a sleeve. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to see, but this t-shirt doesn't have a sleeve. It's kind of um, one of those t-shirts, like, I guess a muscle tee almost but it doesn't have a, a actual seam for the sleeve. So right here, I'm cutting out a small strip, probably an inch and a half, and I'm gonna use that for my neck. Um, and I'll show you what I mean, but it'll make hemming and it'll look nice as well if you um, use that as your bias tape. So now I'm cutting out I'm leaving myself a little seam allowance so here I folded the shirt up a tad because I didn't want to make the peplum as long as the shirt and then add the peplum to the bottom um, so I wanted it to be shorter um, and actually I do go in and cut a little bit more off because um, I didn't want it to be as long but as a designer you can make that call and you can um, do as you please you may like it long or a longer peplum or you know there are dresses that have that same style so you can definitely use that technique 
floor however you please. So here I am using this shirt again. Um, I'm, I'm folding the fabric and I'm gonna use the shirt for my sleeve. And basically I just need it to um, distinguish how big of my armhole and the length somewhat. Um, again, this is like a cap sleeve or a muscle tee. So I wanna make my sleeve a little bit longer. So I'm just kinda, you know, eyeing it and seeing so i'm turning the shirt upside down so it'll be on the fold of the fabric and and i'm just cutting it out the length that i want it and then i'm going to kind of curve it if that makes sense to fit it into the sleeve So I'm using that same sleeve that I cut out as a pattern for the second sleeve and that's what I'm doing now. Um, I cut one piece 7 by 14 and then I cut it in half so it gave me a strip of three and a half by 14 and that's the part that I'm gonna use for my peplum so it's literally one long strip So here I am at my serger and I am starting on sewing the leggings together. So I'm sewing from the crotch on down to the ankle on one legging and then I'll move on to the second. So here I took the legging and I turned the right side out and I'm putting that on the legging that's inside out. Um, so you want the outside to be facing out and you want the rights to be together in one legging. Um, I know it sounds funny but it'll work itself out. You want to sew on the inside of the pants not the right side. So I'm just lining the material up. So you want to sew around this U, and then when you flip it out, you'll see that it's together, and you did it right. Also, make sure you're lining your seams up together. It'll give you a clean and polished look.
cover this angle I'm just finishing up the elastic I'm going to cut the extra elastic off and then fold down you can do zigzag to sew or either straight stitch depending on how much stretch is in your material here I'm sewing one of the shoulder seams together Here I folded the shirt. What I didn't do earlier was cut down lower for the neckline um, and that will make it easier to get on and off the body. Um, so I'm just gonna cut down a little bit. I think I probably cut maybe like an inch or so um, just to make that more of a neckline for the front. So here I'm just showing you how much I cut off. So now I'm gonna pull out that strip that I cut earlier that I used for the bias and I'm just going to use this to hem around my neck and to give it a clean look so I'm going to fold it in half and the cut in I'm going to put against the cut edge of the neckline and I'm just going to take this through the surgeon and so um, with this piece the bias piece you can pull to stretch it um, the more you pull the tighter it is around the neck and then well um you you do want to kind of pull because you don't want it to be wavy or loose and i could have actually pulled a little bit more um but yeah that's what i'm doing here So here I'm finishing up sewing the bias around the neckline and I'm just leaving a little bit left um, and I'm just going to show you what the neckline looks like with the bias sewn. Now I'm putting the right sides together of that other seam and I'm going to serge that together. Now make sure your bias um, is even on both sides too because that will is a telltale and you want to make sure that it's clean now you want to sew your side seams together and do both sides just turning it right side out just looking at it looking at around the neck um, seeing if there's any changes that I wanted to make um, as you can see the neck look a little loose so that's what I mean when I say you can you know pull on that bias a little bit tighter too um, so here I am going to sew the um, sleeves together and I'm going to do that twice and then I'm going to sew them into the shirt so you want to turn this shirt inside out and you want to turn your sleeve right side out if that makes sense again i know it sounds a little funny but um you want to sew on the wrong side and when you flip out it'll all be aligned together so the right side of the shirt will be with the right side of the sleeve and that's what i'm about to do in a few minutes once I get finished sewing this sleeve. Mm -hmm. 
what I'm doing also is serging the bottom of my sleeve and the reason that I'm doing this is just giving it a clean look when I do hem if you do not have a serger you can fold um, about one fourth and then fold up again another one fourth and just sew and then that will give you a clean option as well instead of um, doing or having a serger or using a overlock foot on your sewing machine make sure you're aligning your seams together when you're serging or sewing again just to give you a clean look So here I'm getting a little assistance. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take that three and a half inch by 14 inch strip and I'm gonna sew that to the bottom. But I did cut a little more of the shirt off, maybe two, three inches, cause I wanted the peplum to fall at her hips. Um, also, before you sew the peplum, hem it. Um, it'll make things a little bit easier and go faster for you. And then all you have to do is cut loose threads and hem. So here is the finished product. If you like, please like, follow, subscribe, um, and comment down below if you would like to see more. Or if you have any other questions. Thank you. See you later.